As Turkey is holding the G20 presidency this year, I want to share some of our priorities and then very briefly talk about our vision for MICTA, since it has been eloquently elaborated by the Honorable Foreign Minister and by my MICTA colleagues. After Australia, Turkey assumed the G20 presidency on 1 December 2014. We are halfway through our presidency, which will culminate in the Antalya summit on 15 and 16 November 2015. I would like to take this opportunity to express our appreciation for the successful work of the Australian presidency and for the wonderful logistical arrangements at the Brisbane summit. We have an ambitious agenda, <clears throat> an intense work plan, and we believe through collective action we will make progress in achieving the overarching aim of the G20, <clears throat> that is strong, sustainable, and balanced growth. Turkish G20 presidency's theme is inclusive and robust growth through collective action. Turkey attaches utmost importance to strong cooperation and effective coordination among countries and also strengthening interaction between the G20 and low-income developing countries, the so-called LIDCs. Turkey aims to channel the influence of the G20 to reach at concrete and beneficial outcomes for the global community. In this connection, Spain, Azerbaijan, Singapore, and the chairs of ASEAN, Malaysia, African Union, Zimbabwe, and NEPAD, Senegal, are invited to the G20 meetings in 2015. The collective solutions required to address the broad range of international economic challenges, which is the core mandate of the G20, often require a multi-year focus. As such, we built our priorities on previous presidencies' work to ensure a seamless continuity in the G20 while introducing new elements. As I mentioned, the T Turkish G20 presidency is focusing its efforts on ensuring inclusive and robust growth through collective action. This can be formulated as the three I's of the Turkish presiden presidency, that is, inclusiveness, implementation, and investment for growth. <clears throat> Let me elaborate. Inclusiveness is relevant in both domestic and international level. As the G20 president, Turkey aims to develop policies to better integrate disadvantaged groups, such as women and youth in the economy, reduce inequality, and promote integration of the small and medium-sized enterprises, the SMEs, and LIDCs into the global economy. At the domestic level, we aim to ensure that all segments of society have access to benefits of growth and prosperity. With this aim, we attribute a special emphasis to SMEs in our agenda as a cross-cutting subject. We are also now launching, for the first time, a World SME Forum, which will be the global voice of the SMEs worldwide. We requested the International Chamber of Commerce to work with us on this subject. In 2015, this new forum will be launched. We are also launching the W20, that is, Women 20. This will concentrate on how to enhance the role and effectiveness of women in business. At the international level, we are trying to ensure that challenges facing the 70 or more LIDCs are raised more vocally by the G20. Turkey is attaching utmost importance to strong cooperation and effective coordination among member countries and also strengthening interaction between the G20 and low-income developing countries. Access to energy in sub-Saharan Africa will be the focus of the first meeting of the G20 energy ministers in Istanbul in October. 
The second priority of our presidency is implementation, because implementing our collective G20 commitments and turning words into actions are absolutely vital for the credibility of the forum. G20 member countries have collectively committed themselves to policy measures, over 1,000 in total, which are estimated to lift collective G20 growth by an additional 2.1% over the next five years. This is the so-called two-in-five target. It is calculated that the implementation of G20 growth strategies will add an additional $2 trillion to the world economy, an output equivalent to the size of the Indian economy. These measures are also expected to boost the GDP of non-G20 countries by over 0.5%. Developments since the Brisbane summit have shown us that this additional growth is much needed. So this year, we propose to focus on five to eight commitments that will have the most effect on growth. And each G20 country has now chosen five to eight commitments, and by the end of our presidency, we will have the accountability report to see how much progress has been made. Our third priority is investment for growth. Investment is a central theme for the Turkish presidency's agenda, as it is critical both for lifting the growth, global growth potential and also for creating new jobs. Building on existing work, we are introducing a narrative on investment, a new narrative on investment. In this context, member countries will prepare concrete and ambitious investment strategies until the summit in November, and by that we hope all G20 countries will have concrete investment programs submitted to the G20 platform. Distinguished colleagues, ladies and gentlemen, let me now turn very briefly to our vision for MICTA. The foreign minister of, ministers of MICTA members gathered in Seoul on 22nd of May 2015 for the fifth MICTA foreign ministers meeting and adopted the MICTA vision statement, which also reflects Turkey's vision and approach towards challenges and opportunities. We believe that MICTA can make an important contribution to regional and international peace and can reflect the conscience of the international community. As constructive and influential powers sharing core values and similarities, MICTA countries have both the will and capacity to contribute to public goods and strengthening global governance. To this end, MICTA will play a bridging role between developed and developing countries. As I have indicated earlier, our priority for this year is strengthening interaction with low-income developing countries. We are also looking at ways of building and stepping up cooperation among MICTA countries. In this context, the enhancement of connectivity and cooperation, not only among governments, but also among business, academic, and cultural circles is important. This is why Turkey strongly supports the idea of creating the MICTA academic network. We are planning the first MICTA business forum to take place back to back with the G20 trade ministers meeting in October in Istanbul. We also want to extend cooperation between MICTA countries at international organizations beyond the United Nations. Our journey with MICTA is just progressing. MICTA will continue to expand and strengthen its role for a more efficient and effective global governance. We are pleased to be taking this journey with Mexico, Indonesia, Korea, and Australia. Thank you for your attention.